น้าโอบีเอลซีรีส์เพื่อนกูค้างตังเท่าไหร่บอกมาให้หมดพันธุ์ with a gun is just such an interesting visual and some lovely product placement they always make the the instant noodles turn out so good they add so much extra stuff to it of course Sinto is so proud of himself for having made this Oh my God! Is he gonna get amnesia and have a new family and have a new son that he's also gonna name Wati? Oh, they're all so happy. Cute picture. This is just like the the holy sex tuplet of BL couples. GMT GMMTV is trying to tell us this is not a BL series, but this is not a very straight series either. He's really gonna just kick him out like that. <laughs> and it, oh, it's, your, it's gonna be your last month. Tomorrow's the last day of the month. Bye. Just look at how they line these boys up. You got Off Gun, then you got Singto and Chris, then you got Tae Tawan and Nu. Come on, GMMTV. Why are you playing us like this? Why? Why? The gays, we've been new. The best moment in Google is when we are sitting here together. And now we are going to sit here and sit here. Because we are going to get out of this house. Yay! That's such a dick move. <laughs> Nobody's laughing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry. You were in this show for 15 seconds just to get rejected. Goodbye. Yeah, you know, something about... Mm, something's definitely not straight about... Hey everyone, it's Toshi, and today I'm going to talk about Konlati Doikan, also known as I'm T, me too, and I am. Anyway, this is a Thai series that recently just wrapped up. It was airing in mid-September until just now, the 6th of November, and it's produced by GMM TV. And you know what? It's not a BL series. But it does star the holy trinity of couples from GMM TV's uh, BL series. So we have stars like Chris and Singto from Sodis. We got Off and Gun from Theory of Love. And we got Day and New from the Kiss series. So even though it's not technically a BL series, we've got six amazing actors who have basically become famous due to starring in BL series. So the story of I'm T, Me Too is that college student Wati, uh, played by Chris, uh, unfortunately his mom passes away and he's got this big old house by himself, but unfortunately all the bills weren't paid. So he needs to find a way to keep his house and in doing so, the memory of his mother alive. So he starts to rent out his house and he finds five other individuals who are all nicknamed T. So all of the different T's, they have very different personalities and they also have very different phobias that they all uh, learn about each other and try to get through together as they become closer. So definitely check this series out. I think it's a great series. It's not a BL series, as I said before, but it is really entertaining and the story is quite fun. And you'll get to see some actors that you're probably very used to seeing if you've ever watched Sodas, Theory of Love, or uh, the Kiss series. So I want to talk a little bit about the actors, although I don't think I have to say that much because 
I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you probably know all of them pretty well anyway. But as Wati, the owner of the house, we have Chris, who of course was in Sotis. We have Mighty, who was played by Singto, also from Sotis and a lot of other series such as He's Coming to Me and also in Friend Zone. As T Date, we have New, who was in the Soda series as well, but really shined in the Kiss series and especially in Dark Blue Kiss alongside his co star Tay, who plays Tito in this series. As Meti, we have Off who we've seen in Theory of Love, alongside his partner on screen, Gun, who plays T-Rex in I'm T, Me Too. So it's really interesting to see all these very familiar faces um, from BL series, although none of them are queer in this story. But I would say in itself, this story is a very queer one in that we have a bunch of people coming from different walks of life. They each have very different personalities and different phobias, as I've said before, but they all come together and by the end of the series really become a family and a family of their own choosing as they grow closer together and help each other through their fears and their struggles. So again, not a BL series, but I would highly recommend that you watch this because it's just such a fun and cute story. And if you thought you got enough teas, well, you're wrong. Because next week, same time, same place, GMMTV is starting their new series, Tonhon Chonla Tea. And I will definitely be following that because I just love Pod so much. He was in Three Will Be Free and... So... Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, leave any comments below, share with all your friends who are interested in BL series. See you next time.